Capricorn, happy birthday. Welcome to Healing Hype Man. This is gonna be a message for Capricorn for whenever you find it. It is Capricorn season. So um, I'm gonna do a past, a past, present, future here. We're gonna dive into that. Um, for whenever you find this message, the future outcome is really going to be what is coming towards you. So if you're watching this like at the end of a month and you're going into another month, that's what that month is looking for you, right? Um, I wanna keep them timeless so it finds you when it finds you. So let's kind of dive into this and we'll take a deep dive, won't we? Feel free to take a look at my YouTube or my Instagram. If this is on Instagram, you're only gonna see the first couple minutes. Um, the full reading will be on YouTube. YouTube, check out my Instagram. I do daily messages over there, or at least uh, collective messages. I'm more active over there. Link is down below for anything that you need. Let's dive in. Okay. In the recent past, you've been indecisive about something, the two of swords. You've been very indecisive, you know, and perhaps there's many options, and I think that there's multiple options in your past that you have been able to take or you were given that you had to take. And you perhaps went on an emotional journey, Capricorn. Um, which is typical, not not so Capricorn-y, right? Um, but if I look at the access, the Capricorn and Cancer access there, like, there is a lot of practicality behind something here. And it's not as if there's been many opportunities to come your way, but perhaps there's just been this like internal knowing that you want to do something. The decision that you've made have, have come from an, from an emotional space. So which tells me that you've already made decisions. Now in the present energy, the king of wands, those decisions that you've made in the past have definitely put you in a position of power. This King of Wands is like haunting me. It's like haunting everyone. There's so much power, and that's definitely you know the Capricorn, the Capricorn season, and the full moon in in um, Cancer. That's when I'm recording this. Is really like that access of like so much passion, so much fire, so much drive, and then like the emotional component to it, right? Uh, a lot of codependency as well. But the present energy is like you're. You're in that leader-like energy. You're in that boss-like energy. You are very creative in many ways, standing up for your own beliefs, right? Which very well can tell me that they're very unconventional and untraditional, which is not very traditional for Capricorn energy. But again, maybe that's why there was such a such a pull um, in the past between doing something you know practical and not not so practical because this is now we're getting logical and creative, and this card is really all about the emotional point component to it. You know, which is nothing to do with pentacles which, or, or earth energy, which is typically how a Capricorn might very well look at life. Um, now, in the future, you have ten of pentacles. So, just looking at this and telling you, you made the right choice in the past, right? It brought you to a level of confidence that was needed, and where it's taking you is you're committed to something here. The bottom of the deck is telling me, wow, the Hierophant, the Strength card, the Devil card, the Magician, the Empress. Okay. You can do it all. You can do it all by yourself, by the way. Um, is really what I'm seeing here. Wow. Wow, wow. Like you've learned a lot of lessons about how much strength and determination things take about your attachment style and codependency to certain people, places, and things perhaps. Your level of power and status in the world and your ability to do things on your own and manifest things that you actually want. This really aligns with Capricorn season. I'm not even lying to you, uh, Capricorn. This is absolutely beautiful, right? Um, You end up in January or whatever month you're watching this being so dedicated to something and actually winning, like winning. And I have to tell you this, this is, I guess, is just a confirmation for you that whatever choices you made prior to you watching this video, 
if that came from an emotional space, like consider that as an avenue to take again in the future when you're up against decisions because where it's taking you is absolutely thriving um, in a position of control and power, dedication and commitment and abundance at the same time. It's almost like you learned a lot about yourself. Then look at the bottom of the deck, like why it's all happening. Like major, major arcana, one, two, three, four, five, six. Like why it's all happening is is telling me six major arcanas here. A true, oh my gosh, like ability to present yourself in a way in which you wanted to it also tells me you've worked your ass off to do so. So I don't even know like where else to go with that, to be brutally honest. This is, I'm like speechless, right? Good way to put it. Rest and rejuvenation, you perhaps rest and rejuvenated. Door to personal healing and happiness. Again, you have worked on yourself. Envy, you've looked at the things that you've once wanted. You, you. This is like telling me like perhaps some might have energy of like you felt a lack. Like I think I have everything that I want, but there's all there's things that I that I. Envy is like you, there's something or someone that has something that you want, and I think that you went on the road to get it yourself, right? Bottom of the deck, cornucopia, another ten of cups, temple path, like the. The temple path. You were guided here. You, you, you definitely worked your ass off to get to a level to where you will reap the rewards for the hard work that you have done on yourself. I do feel like this has been a very solo vibe. I think that you have learned a lot of lessons here, and you have been preparing for something here, and. You have already made the choice, and if you have not, and you're still sitting in this past energy of, of making the choice that is with that it comes internal because there's not, actually there's not even any bad options for you to make. Like that's how much of a badass manifester you are. That what's put in front of you is there's it's uncertainty in which direction to go into, but in actuality, they're both going to be just as thriving and passionate and staying optimistic about all of them will take you to the same route that you want to be in or this 10 of pentacles route that you want to be in and i think the self mastery within yourself like you're more than capable and more than prepared to handle this by all means right let me pull a fallback where did i put them oh, yeah. Let's get a quick affirmation card here for you. Fallback card. You know, I sit here and I could dive into like, okay, what could this be about? But like, you already know. Like, you already know. God lives within me as me. I have faith in what I cannot see. Like, this, there's a lot of faith in things you cannot see here. There's a lot of faith in actually coming to readings, right? Looking for confirmation. But there's also this this two of swords is telling me like you already knew all of this, right? I'm literally just giving you a confirmation that is needed. Begin again. Today is a fresh start. Your path is clear to begin where you are. Wow. Like, I think that you have begun again. I think that you've been on that journey of doing something again, of having a fresh start, of doing it a different way. You are glowing, all eyes on you, receive attention and affection, your energy is magnetic. Like, first of all, I don't know if you guys don't know, but like, this Empress is like, people are watching you, your vibe is like, on a whole nother level, you're manifesting left and right, people see, people can see you, you're popular at the same time, first of all, and like, and secondly here, like, you are so dedicated to your work, the Capricorn energy, the devil energy, it's like, you know, like, this person knows what they want to be attached to, and what they are committed to, Ten of Pentacles is about commitment, like you know what you want to be committed to and you and you shall receive, right? And then you have the Hierophant here, which means you've learned so much. You've tapped into spirituality, your own spirituality, your connection with creator, source, commander, right? God, universe, spirit, angels, guides, God. You, you have learned lessons you perhaps even can speak with or understand in things that you cannot see. Like I'm not surprised like that the high priestess didn't come out here because then it would be like there's an all-knowing and it's almost like you didn't even know, but you're being guided in that direction and where you need to be. 
You know what I mean? I kind of feel like I'm going to leave it there. Happy birthday, Capricorn. Capricorns. What a vibe. As a Cancer opposite of you, I love Capricorn energy. Capricorns and Cancers make great best friends, partners as well, like that soulmate vibe because they have things that each other that uh, that others don't have and I feel like you've tapped into that cancer aspect that cancer access to tap into your emotions to manifest what you want which means you've been doing your Capricorn vibe and now you've tapped into that a little bit of like let me go within a little bit to make my next choice and your next choice and doing this actually benefited you like tenfold and I don't say that loosely wow my name is Alvin Catalan I'm present I'm done speaking now